back. Hi. Let me just. This is not beer or food. This is a baby. Yay. <laughs> and he's doing two months. All right. Or earlier. Who knows? Not now, anyway. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, fingers and legs crossed. Fingers <laughs> or legs crossed. So, <laughs> oh God, I hope he doesn't come during a conference talk. That'd be that'd be interesting. All right. So I have this stupid question of the day series, and oh, it's it's sarcastic. I don't mean the questions are actually stupid, but some people say that oh, that's a stupid question, and then it turns out a lot of people still wants to know the answer, and then people can't agree on the answer. And I have quite a few questions for Mark. I just attended uh, a session that he did together with his daughter. Uh, and there was a lot of talk about .NET Core. And I absolutely love .NET Core. And I have a bunch of questions about that. Okay. And also because I know you've done a lot of open source. You've worked yes. on a lot of libraries and so on. And I want to ask you, have you had any experience with migrating a project to .NET Core? Uh, I have. Um, I've uh, helped. So there were a couple of libraries in the early days of .NET Core. Yeah. Um, How early? That oh. Uh, J Jason sort of, Jason file early or? Uh, yeah, still <laughs> still project .json file early, um, and I wanted to use them in .NET Core projects, and yeah. they hadn't released .NET standard or .NET Core packages, um, and so I actually was forking repositories and checking to see how difficult it was to get old .NET code to recompile as, as and generally um, for .NET Core 1.0 it could be quite tricky yeah um, but by the time 2.0 came along it was literally change the CS proj file and recompile it for 95 percent of libraries unless they were actually using like WPF or um, WinForms yeah and, that, and that's going to change and that's that's going to change with .NET Core 3 yeah, yeah that's, that's really support exciting. those things so what do you think about .NET standard? First of all, for those that who, who do not know or are a little bit confused about .NET standard, what is .NET standard? So .NET standard, um, the best description I've seen of it is that uh, in C Sharp you have interfaces yeah. and you have classes. And the interface says this thing has this functionality and the class actually implements that functionality. Yep. And so net standard is like a massive interface for the entire .NET framework and then .NET Core is an implementation of that interface and full fat uh, .NET framework is an implementation of that interface and mono and so forth. So net standard says I have this functionality and then the frameworks themselves actually implement that functionality. Yeah. So when when would you use uh, so when would you use .NET, uh, .NET standard library instead of a .NET Core library? Uh, basically, class libraries, yeah, uh, .NET standard, and applications are .NET Core or .NET Framework or Mono. And how would you unit test a .NET standard library? Uh, the easiest way because you, you can't really unit test the, the standard itself. So. No. Um, so, if you, when you create a, a .NET project from the command line, you can say .NET new X unit, yeah. um, and that will actually create you a .NET Core console application, effectively, out of the box. Um, but you can go in and edit the CS proj file, and you can add like .NET 461. Um, so it's got a target framework element. If you change that to target frameworks, and then you can add .NET 461 in there. And then when you run the unit tests, it will run them on both those frameworks and give you the test results from both of them. That's really, you can do that with uh, any unit as well. You can do it with any but unit I think you well. need some more, uh, there were some more tweaks. I had to turn off some problems. Oh yeah, I had some problems running the any unit tests when I did that in Visual Studio. I don't know if they changed that in, uh, in an update. Uh, I had to disable the, the test extensions in Visual Studio. Yes, I think they were fighting there for a while. Yeah. It's, it's the sort of thing they probably fixed now. I'm, I'm, I'm a few versions behind, only because <laughs> why do you have updates that are several gigabytes every week? What oh, are you doing? I'm, What's happening? I'm Visual Studio is telling me there's, a, there's a, an update available and it's 1.4 gigabytes and I'm like, hello hotel Wi-Fi, can we, no we can't, no we're not <laughs> doing that. I saw somebody on Twitter added that yellow flag in Visual Studio to his uh, Twitter profile picture <laughs> and when I saw it in, in, in like this tweet and I saw the picture and I saw that flag, I nearly had a heart attack. I just realized that just the flag itself just gives me 
stress. Yes, but it's because Visual Studio 2017 is the ultimate Swiss army knife. Yes, it is. And I'm one of those people who, when it's, when you do the original install and it says, which of these things do you think you might do? And I'm kind of like, all of them! <laughs> yes! C++ extension developments for Python, <laughs> definitely. And it's so like a I've buffet just, table. Yeah, I'll just grab just, everything and at the end you have a big pile of food that, yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah. like it. And now I have a huge bloated Visual Studio. Yeah. Um, I really should just uninstall it and go, let's be honest, it's just .NET Core and Unity. <laughs> I wouldn't so, say uh, Another question with, with, with the unit tests. Um, so, if you, how, which platforms should you should you, which platforms should you target? Because I mean, you you need to compile for a platform to run tests. Mm -hmm. You need to run the tests on the, or for a specific platform. So. Which ones would you suggest, that, or if you even can suggest, like a general recommendation, if you have an open source library, something that's going to be used by many developers? I would say, at a minimum, you should test with .NET Core 2.0 yeah. and uh, .NET 461. 461. Um, so older versions than 461, I don't think Microsoft are officially yeah, supporting no. anymore. Um, there's a lot of actual production code out there running in NetCore 2.0, so you probably do want to still be supporting those. Yeah. Um, certainly, uh, NetCore 2.1 is amazing, and it's got really clever things with span and memory and so forth. Um, but if you're writing a library that uses span, it's really important, like really, really important, to make sure it works on Net461 as well, yeah. because it's a completely different span implementation underneath. Uh, just now, just with the, with span because that's very interesting. Where does it come from? Because I I haven't I haven't looked too much into it, but I have like a vague vague memory that uh, the actual implementation was an open source library that was taken on board a while ago. Is that do you know about it, or I, was I, it from scratch? I sort don't of thing? really know about that. I think uh, there were certainly. Um, solutions out there that did something similar yeah um, and I've, I've had people ask how is this different from array segment yeah. which is also a struct that wraps around a, a chunk of an array um, but uh, there was changes made to the .NET Core 2.1 runtime to support span and there were changes made to C Sharp they introduced the concept of a ref struct and a read-only struct yeah to support um, mm. The, the span uh, type, so it's it actually couldn't have been done in quite the same way before, but I wouldn't be at all surprised if it had been inspired by uh, an open source project. Yeah, it's hard to come up with new ideas. <laughs> There's nothing <laughs> new. <laughs> We're just re recycling and upgrading and trying to improve. Yes, 10,000 years of human civilization. <laughs> We're not inventing anything. We're just reinventing at this stage. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much for answering my questions. I probably have shitloads more questions, but uh, I will try to keep this video short. This is not short, it's never short. But uh, thank you very much uh, for answering the questions. Thank and, you for uh, asking them. Enjoy the rest of the conference. You too. Yeah, his um, session, uh, their session was actually great. So, was it recorded? It was recorded. I'm, I'm sure it will go online. Um, it was recorded. <laughs> So yeah, and yes. good luck with the bump. I look forward to seeing him at uh, Oh god, it's, it's completely crooked now. He's like, <laughs> uh, let me try to reshape this. <laughs> He's doing some weird stuff, so yeah. Oh, two months ago. It'll be fun. Okay, thank Excellent. you very much. Thank you. Bye. Bye.